Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com training videos and Chief Architect. In this video we'll be discussing the octagonals or how to draw one of those kitchen nooks uh, in an octagonal shape and put a uh, vaulted ceiling inside of it. Okay so what I'd like to do is just kind of get you familiar with the program and how to use it and the best benefit way for you. Now there's many ways to do certain things in X2 as well as X1 and 10. I think these rules apply the same. You can try them across the board. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my toolbar and I want to use the extended tool configuration. Uh, try to get as many tools on there as possible so make it easier to draw. Let's use our line drawing CAD tools. Uh, you can also find it under CAD tools and lines. Okay, I've got my line drill sl selected and I'm going to make each wall about uh, let's say 10 feet. So I'm just going to draw it to about 10 feet. Now how do I know it was 10 feet? Well, as I'm drawing on this line, you'll notice down here it gives you a measurement and that's the actual measurement of the line. So I can go to 10 feet and there we go. Now what I want to do is create an octagonal shape and in order to do that the easiest way possible uh, that I like is what I want to do is I want to set a point marker. And this is why these point markers come in handy. I'm going to place a point. I'm going to go ahead and stick it at the end of this line. And I'm going to hit spacebar, select the line, and go to my transform replicate object. And what I want to do is I want to create uh, seven more sides. Um, I'm going to move it relative to itself, 120 inches. Uh, I'm going to rotate each one 45 degrees and I'm going to make sure about current point is located which is this point here and click OK and it becomes an octagonal shape for me. Now they're still individual pieces so I have to snap them together so I'm just going to try to move it together just grab and drag and it, it all snapped them together so Chief figured it out and it became a full octagon shape which is great. Okay, now let's put some ceiling planes in this. Uh, first I'm going to do the actual ceiling plane instead of the roof plane. We're going to use ceiling planes. And I want to drag along this line and find the center point and stop for, and create my first uh, ceiling plane. Now I'm going to delete this particular one because I don't know where my center line is. So I'm going to go back to my line tools. And with making sure the snap objects is on, I'm going to draw across the center line of where it is. Which is great. And now let's put another placement holder and I'll stick it right in the middle. And I'm going to delete these lines because I don't really need it. And I'm going to go ahead and use my ceiling plane and draw it again. Left to right. I'm going to drag out and click one more time. So I'm clicking left mouse button holding down. Go left to right. Let go. Drag out and click again where I want to stop. Now I'm going to hit the space bar and select my roof plane. I'm going to take my angles in to the X point, which I know is the center point. There we go. Now I'm going to clear the X's for now and I'm going to start another one right back in the middle where it was. So the computer doesn't get confused on uh, the X points. I'm going to select my triangle roof plane and we can see it in the 3D view. Let's go ahead and spin it around kind of see I've already created one here okay so I'm going to select this bad boy I'm going to go back to my transform replicate object again I'm going to copy it uh, eight times uh, let's say uh, relative to itself 45 degrees and about current point which is this point click OK and it completed the circle now let's take a look and sure enough there's all my pieces uh, except for it looks like it left one of them out. Let's go to low color and just confirm that. Nope, it's all there. They're all pieced together, which is great. Okay, so now I have my ceiling in. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and draw my exterior walls now uh, using that line to basically line up where I want it. Now we'll just go 10 feet. We'll stick it in there. And I'm just going to quickly go across now and try to get this the way I want it. So here and here and here here Oop. there we go and I might need to adjust a little as I see I'm falling outside that uh, octagon shape that I've made here pull that bad boy out in and out in and out just so I have it lined up with the wall pretty much close to the where it is that's the way I 
like it. Okay, now let's take a look. In the 3D view, it's all working great, but there is a roof on it, obviously. So we're going to um, double click, go to structure, and there's going to be a roof over this room, but let's remove the ceiling over this room. Make sure it's unchecked. Click OK. I'm going to take my view camera view inside and sure enough there it is might be hard to tell because it is on an angle so I'm going to uh, do, 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 do. let's do like every other one won't that be fun all right yeah that would be all right let's go here every other one and look into my eyes look into my eyes send me thousands of dollars millions of dollars. I wonder if it worked. Okay, let's see if that all goes together well. And now, for our finishing touches, why don't we uh, put a roof over it. Build roof planes, bada boom, bada bing, there it is. And now we are complete. We have an inside, outside completely made just to satisfy you. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And that's been Messing with Octagons here at ChiefTutor.com.